Hi, it's Josh from Apt Electronics here at CES 2016, just in time for the ROG Bonanza. JJ, we've got some really cool accessories here from ASUS. Uh, can let, let's just go through a few of them here so those gamers can get a little excited. Yeah, for sure. And uh, definitely what you just said, ROG Bonanza, I think actually fits <laughs> uh, this set of hardware actually pretty well. So first up right here, we actually have the follow-up to our extremely successful ROG Swift. So it was considered kind of the de facto perfect gaming monitor. Uh, we created an ultra high resolution monitor that had full ergonomic control and it also incorporated a cutting edge technology called NVIDIA G-Sync. Uh, what made G-Sync such a game changer in terms of the technology is that normally monitors have what's called a refresh rate. Uh, with G-Sync, you throw the refresh rate out the window because what happens is that the monitor uh, works directly in conjunction with the graphics card and the refresh rate is variable. It changes in real time. So if the game is essentially outputting 61 frames a second, that's what the monitor is running at. If it's 120, that's what it's running at. If it drops down to 47, 67, 77, that's what it's running at. Got it. So um, it creates cool. a buttery smooth experience that's tear-free and it's the absolute best thing when you talk about the responsiveness and the quality. So we've had a lot of gamers that absolutely love that monitor. It was in a larger size, 2560 by 1440, 27 inches. But we had some people say, can you get that price down a little bit lower and can you make it a little bit smaller to fit on my desk? Got it. And so this is what we have coming up. It will be the 24 inch version. Uh, this will be a 1080p based display, but you're still gonna get the G-Sync technology. It's right now targeted for 144 Hertz in terms of the maximum refresh rate. Although, as I said, with the G-Sync technology, it's not really that important anymore. Right. Um, but we are looking to maybe even increase that to 165 hertz in terms of the maximum refresh rate. And then, uh, of course, you still maintain all the adjustments, so you can go ahead That's and cool. adjust it. You can go ahead and tilt, you can go ahead and rotate. You got all that uh, killer stuff in terms of that panel. So that's going to be cool. an awesome choice for and gamers. And those for adjustments, monitor. they get your prices down a little bit? Uh, they we actually don't know yet. It increases <laughs> it a little bit because it gives you that ergonomics. You know, oh, when, okay. you're, when you're talking about sitting down as a gamer for a long period of time, ergonomics are extremely important because uh -huh. you want to be able to make sure that you feel comfortable. Got it. So um, moving beyond that, of course, equally as important is going to be the experience for peripherals. So RG isn't traditionally known as making peripherals because it's something that we've been very cautious about because we really care about the quality and the innovation that we can bring to the table. So uh, we've been working on this guy for a very long time. This is the ROG Claymore keyboard. Uh, so this is a pretty awesome keyboard because it does have individually backlit RGB keys. Uh, these are using the uh, kind of standard in gaming keyboards, which are called the Cherry MX keys. Uh, you can get them all the popular variety, so red, blue, black, brown. And uh, of course, being RGB means you can go ahead and change the color combinations. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff. There's even built-in programming. So I can show you right here where I can go ahead and sequence through some different changes. I can go ahead and control the brightness where I can drop it down or I can increase it. I can go ahead and fluctuate. I can do a lot of different changes. And of course, you'll even offer more control inside the operating system with the full program where you can customize uh, the patterns and the controls. Um, what also makes this a keyboard unique is the ability that you can go ahead and entirely remove the 10 key and you can also replace it on either side. So up to you if you want to have it on the left-hand side, the right-hand side, or you want to remove it altogether. Got it. The 10 key also nice. features a volume-based control system here, and the entire frame is actually done in an alloy, in aluminum. So of course, that gives it a really light, nice, high-quality premium fit and finish. And for users that do pair this up with an RG-compatible system, it will even offer specialized commands, so things like being able to adjust your fans, overclock your system, being able to get into what's called the UEFI, and a whole lot more, so it's pretty awesome there. The numeric keypad, when you removed it, mm -hmm. uh, there's no cables attaching it. I imagine when you dock it in, does that kind of activate it on either side? Correct, yes, that can be done in real time, so you could just bring it right over, dock it back in, and you're good to go. So, so no, there's like no a connector on the ends Correct, here? yeah, there's a little connector right there you can ah, see. Okay. There's there a pin go. pad contact, that's all you need to do, is just light it up, slide it in, and that's it. Cool. Now, matching up with that, we have the new, what's called Spatha. So this is a uh, wireless and wired mouse that we've been working on for a long time. It also features RGB, so of course equally pairs up here with this Claymore, so you can customize the lighting here, here, and here. Um, it looks heavy, but this is actually all done in magnesium, so it's extremely light. If you want to go ahead and feel that, you can oh, feel it. I wasn't that. expecting that. Yeah, it looks big, it's and you expect it. has got a little it, weight to it, but it, it's, little not, weight. it's not heavy at all. Yeah, and uh, so it's uh, premium construction. It also features some uh, really nice innovations. So one is that we use uh, Japanese Omron switches. Those are the switches that are actually underneath these buttons. They're individually separated to maximize their actual actuation ability. And if you want to remove those and change them out to even change that, oh, you can weird. customize that. Cool. 
Uh, you can go from wire to wireless. That's entirely available and it's up to you in terms of going with that. Uh, in addition to that, you have fully custom macro key control here so that if you want to go and tune it to your favorite game like an RTS game or MMO game, you can go ahead and configure it to your heart's content and you're good to go. So this is going to be the Spatha and this is also the magnetic charging base, which as you see just clips in and cool. you're good to go. And you can also remove that and also entirely lay it flat. So um, this is going to be coming in the not too distant future. Why would I not just stay wireless? What's the benefit of staying wired? It really comes down to a preference. Some gamers, uh, you know, they prefer the absolute lowest latency possible, oh, and maybe okay. they want to use that. Uh, we've worked very, very hard. This is actually does support an extremely high polling rate, um, so it's going to give you very low latency. So whether you want to game wirelessly or you want to game with a hardline connection, it's up to you, Got but it. we're going to give you both options. It's nice to have the option. Yep. And rounding things out here is what we have with the brand new ROG 7.1 headset. <laughs> so traditionally with a headset, uh, you know, there's a lot of time talking about multi-channel audio, right? Um, but we've taken a little bit of a different approach. So what you actually have here is a 7.1 headset, but instead of using some form of upmixing technology, we actually have multiple drivers. So this is one feature where, of course, we can remove the pads. So if they wear away, you can go ahead and replace these. But you're actually going to see that there's independent drivers here. So we actually have for the center channel, for the actual side channel, for the rear channel, for the sub. So you actually have true multi-channel speakers cool. available to you. <laughs> Uh, on top of that, of course, you've got a premium fit and finish on here. You have customizable uh, lighting here that you can go to a breathing effect or a fixed uh, uh, LED like we have right now. You've got, of course, some nice padding here uh, to support your head. The microphone is entirely adjustable so that you can go ahead and retract it and then hide it in place so that if you don't want to have the mic bothering nice. you, you can go ahead and do that. But where things start to get really, really interesting, though, is in this guy. This is going to be the audio control base. So with the audio control base, this is a plug and play solution, just plugs in straight into your system. But what you're going to see here is you see center channel or rear channel. I can go ahead and just uh, select that channel. So I'm just going to go ahead and move up to say center. Once I go ahead and click center, I can now go ahead and individually adjust the volume for each one of those drivers. So imagine if I'm in a game and I want to accentuate somebody's voice or I want to go ahead and accentuate the rear positional audio. I can individually customize every single one to my heart's content. That's so, really cool. Have you had, ever had anything like that before? That's actually, uh, we introduced it with our previous Strix 7.1 headset, but this is pretty much the first time you've had this level of granular control available. That's very cool. But we didn't stop there. We even took it further. So we've also integrated an environmental noise canceling uh, mic in here. So this will pick up ambient noise to process that out to go ahead and clean up the use of the mic. Nice. So imagine here, I used to live in an apartment. My kitchen was right next to where I was gaming. So if somebody was doing stuff in the kitchen, mm. you'd be picking up that noise when I was trying to chat with friends online, Got it. right? So that can improve that. We also incorporated uh, an ESS grade DAC in here, so that improves the audio experience as well, uh, whether you're going to be playing games, music, movies. You also got uh, profiles on here, so things like uh, action RPG, first-person shooters, racing. You can go ahead and have a prioritized profile for that. I'll see, uh, you don't have to keep futzing with the, the settings all the time. Correct. And then we even also have a quick switch option, which is really nice for changing from the headset to speakers. A lot of times, sometimes gamers want to switch from one or to the other, so uh, you can just go ahead got and it. click the button and switch off from one to the other. So all the way around, it's a really awesome a premium solution for somebody that's serious about having a great quality headset. Set, um, and with a lot of customization options, this is really going to take care of you. And it complements the entire experience yeah, here. You've no, got a great monitor, awesome. keyboard, mouse, and headset. You throw together that an awesome system like what we've got right here with the G20. And yeah. you're rocking and rolling when it comes to PC gaming. Uh, with pretty much everything. It's all new, right? We're, yeah, it's all brand new. Uh, we're going to be varying between like Q1 to early Q2, depending on the product that you're going to be seeing here. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, JJ. Not a problem. Thank you. Bonanza. Check out more videos here at CES 2016 at app.com. We've got blog.app.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want. And if you see that little dancing Josh pop-up hologram, you're going to email what video you saw it on to marketing at app.com for your chance to win a $100 app gift card.